On average, a child is killed every 10 minutes in Gaza. 1.5 million people have been displaced and are looking for shelter anywhere they can find it. But nowhere and no one is safe. More than 180 women give birth in Gaza every single day. There are 9,000 patients on cancer therapy, and there are 350,000 patients with diabetes, heart disease, and hypertension. WHO is on the ground in Gaza, alongside our partners to support health workers who are physically and mentally exhausted and are doing their best in an unimaginable conditions. Before the 7th of October, an average of 500 trucks a day were crossing into Gaza with essential supplies. Since the 21st of October, instead of the expected 10,000 trucks, just 650 have entered. WHO continues to call for unfettered access to deliver humanitarian aid to the civilians of Gaza who are not responsible for this violence, but are suffering in ways that we in this room cannot imagine. We continue to call on Hamas to release the hostage it took, many of whom need urgent medical attention. We continue to call on Israel to restore supplies of electricity, water, and especially fuel. We continue to call on both sides to abide by their obligations under international humanitarian law. And we continue to call for a ceasefire to prevent further deaths of civilians and further damage to Gaza's hospitals and health facilities.